Okay, here we have my apple painting. Um, again, this is an acrylic. It's four by six feet, it's rather large. Probably the biggest painting I ever did so far. Um, again, this being a flatter plane, everything is pretty much going to be in focus on a picture like this. Um, you probably could focus on just one apple, leave the other ones a little more blurred, but uh, it's a slightly more cartoony or hard edged because of the same plane, but to me the subject itself is just three big circles all about almost in the relatively same place. So there's not much else you can do with it. To me the impact of a picture like this is just the color, the visual excitement of something that small seeing it up bigger than you are, uh, it makes it very impressive. And uh, again the technique to me doesn't matter how you paint this. I mean ten people would paint it ten different ways. And that's again the beauty of it. I mean, I might not totally be pleased with stuff I do. Uh, my wife does paintings, and I look at some of hers and go, "Damn, I wish I could do what you do." She looks at mine and says, "I wish I could, you know, mine suck. I wish I could do mine like yours." So, I think we never are totally satisfied with our own technique, but we need to learn to accept uh, it as an artistic statement, and it's a, a total personal experience, and it should be fun. So. Um, Again, that's another example.